Hey man, how's it going? Hey man, how's it going? Yo, I got that Final Fantasy XV Kingsglaive movie. Oh boy, I just got back from pre-ordering the collector's edition of Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> How fucking dare you? Final Fantasy XV's playable characters are all men, and their car mechanic is an over-sexualized lady. How fucking dare you? You sexist, misogynistic pig, you need to check your fucking privilege. Yo, hold up, I, I don't get what you're trying to say. S ah, fuck man! Ah, you fucking... Ah! Take that, you fucking shitlord! Dude, you fought pepper spray at my homie's eyes! What the fuck? Yo, Becky, what the fuck? Get the fuck back here before you embarrass us more! Actually, it's already too late. Yo, bro, check it out. One of her classmates from DeVry just fucking pepper sprayed a random dude. Holy crap, what the hell is wrong with her? But no, seriously. Final Fantasy XV is now facing controversy, so what is Final Fantasy XV doing? Well, Final Fantasy XV is put under fire because of the fact that the playable characters you're offered are a group of men. And a female car mechanic who is attractive. Fans ask why, and then out of nowhere, a writer goes so far as to put up an article on the website he works at that is titled, quote, Why are Final Fantasy XV fans anti-women? Yeah, that's what Ian Miles Chung from Heat Street found out. He also dug up a time where Final Fantasy XV's game director, Hajime Tabata, was addressed towards on the matter. Tabata himself responded with, and quote, Speaking honestly, an all-male party feels almost more approachable for players. Even the presence of one female in the group will change their behavior so that they'll act differently. So, to give the most natural feeling, to make them feel sincere and honest, having them all the same gender made sense in that way. As Tabata said it, he got a ton of backlash for that comment, and even people would go so far as to claim sexism. Come on, it's like saying how Final Fantasy X-2 is sexist towards men because the playable characters are all female, and of course, anyone who supports Final Fantasy X-2 is a misandrist, a anti-men, because the Final Fantasy X-2 fans are like, what? And we all know that's bullshit. Here's the thing, guys go on trips together with other guys, girls go on trips together with other girls, and even couples go on trips together with other couples. Saying that four guys on a road trip is sexist, four girls on a road trip is misandry, and two couples, husband, wife, husband, wife, on a road trip trivializes people who are single is just outright bullshit. And this is exactly why consumer censorship is very concerning. You get a random group of people coming out of the blue, they're taking a look at Final Fantasy XV, and they're like, Oh my goodness, look at Final Fantasy XV. Oh my, the playable characters in this game, they're all male. And their car mechanic, oh my goodness, it's an attractive... Oh no, this is sexist. I don't like it, nobody should have it. Anyone who touches this game is sexist. Basically, if they don't like it, no one should have it. So they go and either get the game censored or banned, or if they can't, go and attack the people supporting the game, playing the game, enjoying the game, and even being a fan of the game, and its franchise as well. People are like, oh my goodness, this female character is attractive, this is sexism. Oh my goodness, look at the amount of blood, this is too violent, we cannot have games like this around, oh my goodness. What people don't seem to get is there's something worse than that. Like, for example, No Man's Sky, it released. Well, No Man's Sky has gotten a ton of backlash because the game is missing features that the developers said that was going to be in the final product. And another example, hacker groups are going around and taking down game servers. Worse, they have the ability to hack into a SIM card. They have the ability to hack into your Facebook profile. They have the ability to hack into your Twitter account. Those examples I brought up here, they are worse than an attractive female character or a group of men presented as the only playable characters in the game. And here's the thing, Final Fantasy XV's all-male cast of playable characters is not that I give a shit about. What I give a shit about when it comes to Final Fantasy XV 
is pretty much the gameplay, the graphical overhaul, the sound presentation, and, of course, the environments that you get to take a look around, and the monsters you fight, and the epic battles you deal with. And also, Square Enix is doing what they can to make Final Fantasy XV improve from previous titles. Anyway, that is all, and I'll be looking forward to you in the next video.